Milestones of the Century. This is the world's largest bus terminal. Built at the cost of $24 million, it occupies a full block on Manhattan's 8th Avenue. Until 1951, buses once in the city plowed through New York's jam streets to dozens of different terminals. Today, ramps funnel them to this new landmark in transportation, the air-conditioned Port Authority Terminal. There's no danger of skidding in winter. Radiant heating keeps the ramps free from ice and snow. The terminal was not built just to keep buses like these off crowded Manhattan streets. The states of New York and New Jersey also wanted to make life pleasanter for the traveler. In the new terminal, he's dropped off handy to subways and city bus lines. High-speed moving stairways, 31 of them, carry passengers from one level to another. And it's mighty nice to ride downstairs instead of walking when that morning drowsiness isn't quite out of your system. Every year, at least 40 million passengers, suburban commuters, and long-distance travelers, too, ride these escalators and walk through the two vast concourses. These concourses have waiting rooms, ticket offices, and every facility the traveler needs under one roof. So well equipped with shops and services is the terminal, entire shopping trips can be done right there. Need a diamond bracelet? Or a book? Teeth hurt? Feet hurt. Run in your stocking, there's a place to fix that. If you need groceries or flowers, candy, toothpaste, it's all there. But bus tickets, naturally, are the principal items for sale. You can buy a ticket here to any city or town in the United States. There are 31 of these ticket windows. Your ticket, madam, to anywhere. Atop the block square building, there's rented parking space for private cars. Like the buses, the passenger cars travel up ramps to enter the terminal and reach the roof. A new high in travel development, the Port Authority Terminal, serving the present, yet built for the expanding future, stands among the miracles of transport and the milestones of the century.